Hello, everyone. Ladis Lasmoris from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So Luigi and I just finished breakfast here in Playa del Carmen, and we're going to go straight to Tulum. We're going to have a look at the and give updates on the real estate investment markets in Tulum because there are so many changes happening, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. growing. It's exploding. Yeah. So we're going to discuss that in detail. And then Luigi is going to take us to an apartment that is specifically designed for investors, and right. it's called a... Lock-off. Oh. It's a lock-off concept. We'll be discussing that. Cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Playa del Carmen is about a 50-minute drive away from Tulum. Yeah, I'm driving, so 40 minutes. Cool, faster. Rock and roll. Let's go. Let's do it. This yeah. is it. One beautiful project here in Tulum. This, um, these amenities are really unique. Something completely different. This is what Tulum offers. There is no limit. So architects can really design things Beautiful. that are absolutely different and cool. Beautiful. So this is attracting a lot of people on Airbnb and VRBO. So if you've got pictures of your unit, so as an investor, you buy a unit here and you post your pictures you, on your Airbnb list yeah. and you see this, yeah. it draws attention. So you're separating yourself from all the other basic condos. Wow. And this and, is like a C note with like Yeah, so this was a man made. So this is natural rock. This is all yeah. here, but they filled this up. This wasn't a natural, they filled it up with water. And they've got different seating area and, and underneath here they have umbrellas, they have more seats under there. I mean this is really cool. So this uniqueness is what draws that occupancy. This is what separates you from all the other condos, the yeah. basic condos. And so this is this is great for people who are looking for ROI. Yeah. That want to that want to invest in something that they can also come down for one month, two months of the year and enjoy a fantastic property like this. Gosh, the maintenance is so good. Like the yeah. water is so crystal clear. clear. Yeah. Crystal clear. So as an owner, as an investor, not only are you making five, six percent return, people booking perhaps a little higher because it's unique, you get to come and enjoy this whenever yeah, you want. So, gosh. Oh, the oh, water's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it's so warm, so clear. I want to push like, you in, but anyway. What are the HOA <laughs> fees, like per, per square meter, roughly? So typically, uh, they're between 2.5 to $3 a square meter. Okay, so the apartment, the two-bedroom apartment we're going to see, so the HOA would be about $400 a month, roughly? Well, this one is 148 square meters, so I'm just going to go, let's say 2.8. Yeah. You're looking at about, yeah, $414 okay. a month for, for... For these amenities. For these amenities. And then we're going to go check out the gym and the, and the rooftop there as That's well. right. So not only do you have the swim-up, so just an important thing too, these are all swim-up units. So swim-up meaning you fall right off of your own terrace into your own private little pool area. So wow. not only do you have the swim up pool area, you also have the rooftop pool area with jacuzzi, you have a rooftop bar, yeah. a huge gym. So these are some of the amenities you get. Now this particular concept that we're gonna talk about today is a two bedroom lock off. A lot of Canadians, Americans, a lot of people aren't familiar with the two bedroom lock off, but what essentially it is, is if you're looking at this door, Two doors. These are two apartment. doors, one apartment. So this is the door to the main part of the house, and this is the door to the second bedroom that you can separate and rent out separately. So we're just going to walk in here. All right, so guys, this is not like a, a property tour. No. The, the whole point is just um, explaining the, the concept right. and the sort of kind of space that Tulum occupies in the real estate investment world because right. it's, it's very unique. Where else do you get architecture like this? I could think of Bali. Um, Maybe Thailand a little bit. Yeah, some places in Thailand. That's pretty yeah. much it. This is it. So we have exposed concrete. You have a lot of vegetation, a huge terrace, a lot of privacy. So this is the main part of the condo. So again, and if we want to talk another market, not just the people investing that want to uh, use the place a couple months of the year and then have a good RI and vacation rental, you also have the digital nomads. Now remember, Tulum, Bali, and Thailand are huge digital nomad hubs. And as a digital nomad, you can invest in a property like this. You can stay for two, three months in the main part of the yeah. condo, which is this right here. And then you still have some revenue because you can rent out the second bedroom yeah. that has its own separate entrance, so they're not gonna bother you. You put a, like a little kitchen here. Right, you, you, would, you would equip this with a kitchen. So you would put a, little, a tiny little electric stove top, a coffee maker, a bar fridge, plates, knives, everything that you need to do. And essentially this is its own studio. 
while you're staying at the, one, the main part, or you can rent it out once the digital nomad leaves, you can rent this out as a two bedroom, you can rent it out as a studio and a one bedroom. So you're essentially getting all three searches. If someone's searching for a two bedroom, they've got it. If you're searching for a one bedroom, you're, you're listed. And if you're searching for a studio, your property's also listed. So it's three properties in one, you're getting a lot more traffic and you're able to push that occupancy level maybe a little higher. And as the market changes, you're more adaptable. You're more well. adaptable, yeah. Look, in so, terms of net rental yields in Tulum? Well, I mean, if we're going to base on 2022, we saw 5 to 6%. Some properties pushed up to 7, 8, depending again on who's running the property and, and the amenities. Going into 2020, well, finishing 2023, going into 2024, 25, while more of these projects complete and we have more product in the market, uh, we don't know if that's going to decrease the rates, the average daily rate, if it's going to, you know, we don't know. I don't have a crystal ball, so we don't promise anything. But if we're going to base on 2022, we're looking at 5 6% average return. Yeah, because essentially it's a market of imbalances. Supply is booming with right. such properties. And then tourism is booming as well into Tulum. I mean, the, the place keeps right. making headlines. Everyone knows about Tulum and it just keeps getting better. Right. And then there are these two huge catalysts huge that catalysts. have been confirmed in the very recent past. Uh, that's right, yeah. So we have the train, which is big. The president, really, this is his project. He's pushing for this. And so the train is starting in Cancun. It's coming all the way down to Playa, Tulum. It's going to Chiptumal. It's going to all through the Yucatan. So they're going to start the early testing of a small section of the train in, in July this year. Cool. So that's going to change the whole this whole Riviera Maya is really going to connect all of these areas. And then the other big one, the other big catalyst is the airport, which was kind of a rumor for a long time, but now we have concrete dates. We're looking at the first flights are supposed to be scheduled in December 2024. It's about 40% built. Uh, so they might even be ahead of schedule. I don't know. We're not promising that, but right now they're looking at December 2024, which can change everything. And that airport is supposed to take about 2 million to 4 million passengers a year to start which will take some of that pressure off of the Cancun airport, which is two hours away from here. Yeah. So now people can arrive and get here in 40 minutes uh, instead of having the two hour travel time from Cancun. So. so such amenities, such apartment complexes will be a direct flight away from major US and Canadian cities. That's right. So huge catalyst. Yeah, it's cool. awesome. Let's go check out the, the rooftop and the gym, which is quite spectacular as yeah, well. Yeah, the gym. And then let's discuss, uh, when we're up there, let's discuss the, some differences between the Playa del Carmen and Tulum real estate markets. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to go out the separate entrance. See how this, this bedroom has its own entrance and, and exit. So we'll just go out that here. There we go. Yeah, so <laughs> look at the size of this gym. So typically you don't find gyms like this in any projects. Usually they're a tiny little room with two couple treadmills, a little bike. This you have a full squat machine, you have everything. So really people who are staying here, like again, talk about the market, digital nomads. If you're a person that likes to work out and yeah. you're a digital nomad, you want access to a good gym, yeah. you've got it. Yeah. So wow. this is pretty impressive. So essentially the HOA is not cheap, a bit over $400 for a two bedroom unit. But then when you take into account that you get membership for an actual gym, like not not a cheap gym like you often see in condos yeah. in buildings. This is an actual, I mean, professional gym. It's a really good gym, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. And the pools and everything you have, I mean, it's really, and, and there's a library, there's all kinds of stuff in there's there. There's a library? Yeah, there's a little reading area. Okay, there's, cool. I, all right. Wow. Yeah, look at the view. Jungle. Jungle view. Wow, Tulum, yeah. So you can come up here, hang out by the bar, take a plunge, a couple jacuzzis there, and, um, and roughly per square foot, how much is an apartment here? Uh, between two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars a square foot. Okay, if so two and a half k, three and a half k in, in square meters. Right. So you know, a unit in here is going to be above three hundred thousand. Cool. But okay. again, it's uh, that's about the average in Tulum is about twenty five hundred dollars a square meter. Okay. About two hundred fifty to three hundred a square foot. It's significantly cheaper than than Playa del Carmen. It's it's about a thousand dollars a square meter cheaper than the employee Carmen. Yeah, but the rates, actual nightly rates can be a little higher here. So People are paying a premium to stay in Tulum because Tulum's got a buzz around it right now. Yeah. The influencers, everybody's talking about Tulum, the, the, the Hollywood stars and, you know? Yeah. So you can get a higher daily average rate and you're paying less per square meter. This is such an interesting market in the sense that it's just hard to predict what will happen. 
so when you see this and you're like, this is cheaper than Playa del Carmen, it doesn't quite make sense, it's more premium, et cetera, there has to be upside. I, I think there's upside as well, but then again, when you look around, all this jungle, this is gonna be built at some point, so. But you gotta keep in mind, these are also low density lots. Right? Yeah. These are huge lots. They're not like Playa, Playa or small lots. I mean, that's... I mean, that's pretty high density there, what we're looking at here, the, what they're building. But that's still considered low density compared to yeah. Playa. Yeah, compared right? to because Playa, Because yeah. you're talking about two, two uh, hectare lots. Yeah. You know, so, Playa is tiny, <laughs> tiny lots. So, so from an investment point of view, the way I look at it is Playa offers certainty, but Tulum is a bit more of a speculation. Well, Playa has been around, it's been established for 20 years and it's slowly, steadily growing and it's, it's a big city now and it's attracting that, the long-term you know, visitor, I should say, or even long-term uh, um, people moving there long-term. Tulum is exploding, so we don't know what direction it's gonna go, but there is a lot of buzz around it and uh, it, they are putting a lot of infrastructure so it can potentially in the future attract also the people who are gonna live here long-term. So, and still be a vacation rental place. Like a place like that would be a bit of a no-brainer. Let's say you're in Toronto or you're in New York or in Los Angeles and you want to buy a condo. You look at what you can afford back home. Essentially, not much at all. Right. You're just in some random building in a one-bedroom apartment <laughs> with a, a, a little gym somewhere. Yeah, maybe, yeah. In some suburb. Yeah. Here, this is the lifestyle that you get, right? So you get to live this lifestyle for a few months of the year if you want to, when it's like really, when the weather is bad up north, you're here and the rest of the year, you can rent out your unit. And even when you're here, because it's a lock off, you can rent out the little, That's the, right. the, the little studio. That's right. So essentially, and it's, it's not like you're not gonna rent out, it's just a matter of price. Because with these amenities, yeah. you're always gonna have someone who's gonna be renting your, your apartment. I That's mean, true. Uh, everyone, everyone would love to spend time here for like a week or two Absolutely. or a few months. And as I mentioned earlier, when you have these pictures and you're promoting this on, on Airbnb, it is very spectacular. It's a wow factor. So you'll, you'll definitely get some inquiries. Absolutely. Cool. Okay, fantastic. So if you're interested in the Tulum real estate market, I wrote a whole article on the market here, the neighborhoods to look at, the neighborhoods to avoid from an investment point of view. So there's a link below to this article. If you are interested in making a real estate investment here in Tulum or in Playa del Carmen or in Cancun, feel free to get in touch with Luigi. Absolutely. There's a link below with his contact information and more information on his services. Absolutely. Great. Luigi, thank it's you so much. Eh? That's a great time. Make sure to download my free ebook, 12 Mistakes to Avoid When Investing in International Real Estate which you can find on my website, link below, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.